This iPod repair tutorial is brought to you by FixYouriPod.Weebly.com. Now I've been getting a lot of comments and questions in reference to restoring an iPod and how to reset an iPod and problems getting into disk mode and staying into disk mode. Now there are a few techniques to get it into disk mode but I'm going to show you a technique that once you get it in how to get it to stay in. There are some iPods that are very stubborn and the hard drive won't allow it to stay with disk mode and continue in so it would allow you to get to the next step which is to plug it into your computer and then restore it to factory settings. So I'm going to show you how to get the iPod into disk mode and to stay in disk mode. This is a new technique and that has never been discussed before. Now what you usually get before you try to get into disk mode and the reason you want to get into disk mode is you have a problem of shifting icons. You turn your iPod on, you get a screen that looks like this with an iPod support website under it. You go to the website, of course it's very broad and it covers a lot of different problems and you don't know what to do. Uh, that type of icon, then you get something that looks like this. Even though you just charged the battery already and the battery is full, you still get something that shows the battery is low and doesn't make sense. Then you get the usual Apple icon which is supposed to come up before it's booting and then loads. And sometimes you get a shifting situation where it goes between these two things. And then you get this again and then you get some kind of icon that shows a folder with a support website. Now the trick is to get it into disk mode. Now I discussed in my other video what you have to do is of course you hold down the select button that I'm pointing to right here the center white button and at the same time you hold down the menu button then you hold it down without letting go the Apple logo will show after that Apple logo shows immediately hold down the select button and then hold down the play button and then the next screen you should get is disk mode now once in disk mode you just plug it into your computer load iTunes and then hit restore and then you can restore it to factory settings but sometimes you get into disk mode and before you have the chance to do anything it goes right back into shifting between these two icons again and then you get back sometimes to this again so what do you do how do you get it into disk mode and stay in disk mode now I'm gonna show you how to do that this is a new technique and it's really worked I've serviced hundreds of iPods already in my career and I can tell you that this has worked recently very well what you do is of course when you're resetting and getting into the disk mode it has to be plugged in to your wall charger all the time it has to be plugged into the wall your adapter has to be in the wall and the adapter has to be plugged in of course to the bottom of the iPod over here now while that's plugged in you do the resetting techniques that I just mentioned and when you get into disk mode once it gets in pull the adapter out of the iPod right away now what you might hear is a couple of beeping sounds. If the battery is low, you'll hear a couple of beeping sounds. It's going to say beep, beep, like that, and then the iPod will shut off. Now this happens when you have a very low battery. And this is usually the reason why the iPod does not stay in disk mode. It doesn't have enough power to stay in it. And sometimes the, the hard drive keeps on spinning. If you notice when it won't stay in disk mode, it continues to spin. And then it goes back into those other two screens and you have the shifting problem again back to the sad face or whatever it is so again you pull the cord out of the iPod let it beep just twice and right away plug it in again plug the interface of the adapter right back into the iPod after you hear the two beeps it should then stay in disk mode it gives the iPod an extra jolt and a shock and it allows the iPod to the, the hard drive in the iPod to hold it in disk mode. Once you do that you can just continue with the restoration process but what you should do is before you connect it to your computer if you look closely at where my cursor is pointing to there's a battery meter. Let it charge. It may take about five six hours. Let it charge. Let it charge while in disk mode. What this check has to show. Make sure it stays in there. While it's in disk mode I mean just wait about like 10 or 15 20 seconds if it stays in there it'll stay in for good when the battery meter stops moving and it's showing full only then remove it 
then plug it into your computer with the sync cable load iTunes restore it to factory settings and after you restore it they'll say okay to disconnect and you'll get this logo on your iPod screen take the iPod plug it into the wall charger then you'll see this Apple logo come up and then you'll see a battery meter going up battery meter black line going up showing it's restoring and then after that you'll see your regular iPod screen again it'll power up it'll show music and contacts and all the other menus and you'll be back in business so if you have any questions please feel free to ask any comments please leave them under the video and thank you for tuning in